first, we had to get out of Florida somehow, but still managed to explore some of the wildlife near Cape Canaveral. Then the long panhandle, almost as long as the drive north until we reached Mobile. After that, in Louisiana, I stopped briefly in New Orleans for breakfast. Now we continue. Driving to the west, into the sunset, driving to the west. All the way to Quartzsite, Arizona, so buckle up, it is going to be a long drive. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Greetings from Fairview Riverside State Park, just north of Lake Puncher Train in Louisiana. Here, crossing the Chafuncti River into the small town of Madisonville. Pretty soon we'll be on the interstate, and if you like driving videos, this might be the one for you. I-10 is an uneventful, dare I say, boring drive for most of this part of Louisiana. That is, until we reach Baton Rouge, the state capital. Not the smoothest of roads here, as we are about to cross the mighty Mississippi. Last time I was here, I stopped briefly, but not today. For the next three and a half days or so, we are on a mission. It is Arizona or bust. Crossing the Mississippi is always kind of emotional. It is not the halfway point by any means, but it is, psychologically. Once we cross the Great River, it feels like we are getting closer to the western part of the country. This long bridge goes over the Atchafalaya Basin. At over 18 miles, it is the third longest in the USA. And the Atchafalaya, say that three times in a row, it is the largest swamp also in the United States. We're gonna take a quick break here at the Welcome Center, which is also a rest area, and then we continue. you thought the road in Baton Rouge was pretty bad, wait until we get to Brawbridge. This is the pilot that has a casino and really good gas prices too. You know, it's one of these half-finished concrete roads where the seams are like really not smooth it's weird it was the same way the last time i came here it's like in a quarter mile merge onto i-10 west yeah this is one of my least favorite segments of uh, road in the whole i-10 it is like the seams in the concrete are really wide or something i don't know but it is not a smooth ride driving to the west into the sunset driving to the west Here we are, Lake Charles. Western uh, Louisiana for sure. Yeah, 
I am really tired. Luckily, we are almost in Texas. And here we are, the ginormous Lone Star kind of gives it away. I'm going to spend the night here at the Texas Welcome Center, although I do believe they call it Tourist Information Center or something like that. And tomorrow we continue. It's now time for another frozen meal in Texas. Good morning from the Texas Travel Information Center. Yeah, I think I got it right now. It is indeed located in the swampy lands surrounding the Sabine River, which divides Texas and Louisiana. We are now in Texas. Y'all. <laughs> all right, we're to today's uh, all day driving. I intend to make it all the way to Junction, Texas, which is more or less halfway through Texas. First stop, uh, that gigantic gas station, Bucky's. <coughs> I still have a little bit of a cold. Needless to say, we're gonna be here in Texas for a while. It is 878 miles from here to the New Mexico border and I know some people who claim they have crossed the entire state in one day. I'm gonna do it in two. I'm kind of in a rush, but not that much of a rush. Today is Tuesday, January 8th, and if I make it to Quartzsite, Arizona by Friday morning, I'll be right on schedule. Here we are, Bucky's, a gas station that is a destination unto itself. You know what they say, that everything is bigger in Texas? Well, Bucky's definitely fits the stereotype. Well, here we are at Bucky's, probably the cheapest gas stop of uh, the whole trip. $1.669. Well, this place is huge. Well, here we are. Bucky's, let's check it out. Well, yeah, we're here. Might as well check out the marketing side. As you may or may not know, I do have a thing for supermarkets. I like to see the different things they have in different parts of the country. And this is not a supermarket in the classic sense, but as you can see, it is huge. Maybe they have a sticker. Just little magnets. Yes, they have all kinds of stuff and souvenirs, since apparently Bucky's has become a tourist destination in its own right. And they have Texas themed merchandise, of course. Alright. I don't really need none of this stuff, let's just go eat. Yeah, apparently you place your order here and then you pick it up over there. Very efficient. I'm gonna do the bacon, egg and cheese taco. Uh, gonna add some sausage and pico de gallo. Hmm, tempting, but no. Here they prepare the food and they even have some pre-made tacos if you're in a hurry. All kinds of popcorn, oh wow. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Minitini and eat my taco. I mean, I don't know how many pumps they have, but it's a lot of pumps. <laughs> I got me a burrito and a steak so I can put on the barbecue on the on the grill later. Check that out. If I get to if I get to Junction, Texas early enough today, I'm gonna cook me one of these. Hmm. I'm not, I'm, I'm not even gonna sit down, I'm just gonna have this and continue. It's kind of small-ish. I gotta say, it's a breakfast taco and it's supposed to have bacon, sausage, and I added a bacon, sausage, and pico de gallo. Pretty good, pretty good, I guess. 
Yeah, I might have to put the table up. This is, this is gonna be a little messy. Okay, let's let's eat properly. Let me get some water. Bird fight on the bed of my truck. There, that's downtown Houston. And it looks like I timed it right, traffic-wise. One of these days, Houston. One of these days. But not today. 14 miles per gallon. I'm telling you. Cheap gas, good mileage, perfect combination. This is when I get the, let's call it the long drive blues, because for the next three hours, there's really not much to see or do except for keeping the truck between the white lines and keep a safe distance from the car in front. After San Antonio, the scenery will start getting a little more interesting. Ooh, there's another Bucky's coming up. I could use a break. This one seems to be a little smaller. I spent a while here at the at Bucky's. I'm starting to really like this Bucky's chain here in Texas. Got me some Bucky's coffee. It's pretty good. Strong. I got the dark blend and it's probably too dark. Who else? Spilled some coffee. So much for a nice clean shirt. Oh. And it looks like the sun wants to come out. Last year when I was here, the GPS took me straight through the middle of San Antonio. Now it wants me to go through the, through the Beltway. Both GPSs coincide, so that must be the correct way. Of course, last time I arrived here at rush hour traffic, and today I'm, it's 2.21 still. We're making excellent time. Well, the bad news is we're not gonna see downtown San Antonio from the road, but it is not an ugly drive. Well, downtown traffic must be really bad when both GPSs think this is a better way. I'm, I'm not surprised the, the RV GPS thinks this is a better way. But Google. Right at the fork. Well, what do I do? Is there a detour? Well, three rides make a left, right? All of a sudden, the landscape starts getting more interesting. Well, we are in Hill Country, Texas. Starting to get that look. Pretty 
soon. It's going to start changing into desert. That's my favorite part. Oh, by the way, earlier today I figured out the, the engine braking on the truck. You know, I was like putting it in manual and trying to downshift. Now, uh, just ride the brakes a little bit and the truck does the rest. Automatically it downshifts when it detects a uh, downhill. Pretty cool. Notice how ever so subtly, almost unnoticeably, the terrain becomes more and more arid. Here we are, descending upon Junction, Texas. There is a park here called the Shriner Park where you can camp for free for up to three nights. And that's what we're gonna do. Just one night though. It looks like I'm gonna have company tonight. Let's look for a nice campsite, because I don't wanna be too close to anyone in particular. Okay, this will do. Well, this is where I intend to spend the night. This is called Shriner Park. It's located here in, um, in Junction, Texas. By the way, check it out. Beautiful sunset about to happen back there. And um, it's free, by the way, to camping here for three nights. And it's right next to a river and a dam. Yeah, really pretty out here and quiet. I'm gonna make me. I, I, I was gonna grill the. I was gonna grill me that steak that I bought outside, but I. It's getting kind of chilly. And I don't want to make this, all these other people envious, so I'm just gonna. You know, do it inside in a skillet, and drink my red wine. And, and tomorrow morning, I don't know yet what I'm going to do, and that's that's what's great about it. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Oh, by the way, I. I brought in my Mr. Buddy heater because you know I don't want to deplete the battery with uh, with the furnace. I'd rather use it to edit videos. Okay, let me turn this and put some salt and pepper on the other side. Here we go. Hmm, it's a big steak, you know. It's a big, big piece of cow. Let me show you guys. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at that Texas steak. Well, I'll show it to you when it's done. Mm, oh yeah, the color on those onions once you flip them. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Happy travels to you. Oh, that is perfect. Mmm. I just had the most amazing steak. Check it out. Check out the moon. It's almost new moon. This is how we do it. On the road. All right, everybody, ready for departure here. Slept well last night here at the Shriner Park in Junction, Texas. Actually, this morning the police came. There was a really old schoolie, and I think they came to kick them out. I don't know what happened, and I didn't want to take my camera out, you know, because just in case. 
Anyway, I'm gonna come here to the river and show you the view and then uh, off we go. We've got another all day drive today, if you will. And the idea is to make it to Las Cruces, New Mexico. I, am, I'm, I, I gave up on the idea of going to Big Bend with the government shut down. All the, most of the trails are, are, are closed. So I'm just gonna make a beeline for the RTR. Well, tonight at Las Cruces, tomorrow I'll stay somewhere near Yuma. And then I'll, uh, early in the morning, Friday, I'll make my way there. And I have no idea what to expect. So it's gonna be good. There you go, that's the dam back there. Okay. There's a nice uh, B plus living. One of my favorites. Well, cool. T turns out they are, uh, they are viewers. So, um, Anyways, it's starting to get cloudy. I don't know if it's going to rain. I'm gonna check the weather forecast, which I haven't done yet, and I should have earlier. But here we are. This is the river here, and there's the dam, and that's the bridge we came over. This would have been a nice campsite too. I didn't see this yesterday. There you go. Three nights. And over here, we'll do this in fast motion. Well, I'm glad I didn't come out last night with my wine. Anyway, I'm rambling too much. Let's hit the road. I'm gonna stop here by the post office real quick to send some stickers and uh, some CDs. Also, let me top off the tank because we're going into some relatively remote areas now and fuel will be more expensive. In fact, it is already 50 cents more than in Houston. Walmart, Las Cruces, New Mexico. Showing results for Walmart, Las Cruces, New Mexico. Yeah, that'll work. By the way, that Walmart, that's where I'm going to stay tonight, probably. I hope I make it on time. And I'm going to reprovision. So I have a um, you know, loading route. I guess the internet is not so great here. By the way, very expensive gas, Miami prices. But I guess that's the... Let's call it the, the middle of nowhere tax you pay when you are in a remote place like like here. Ha! There's an RV park here to the left. Why would you go to an RV park when you have free camping over there? Well, if you need full hookups and you want to stay for more than three days, I guess that would be it. It is starting to look like the desert, isn't it? It almost feels like every time you go over a hill, it gets a little drier. station in a quarter mile merge onto i-10 west i don't need to dump yet oh this is the one with a nice uh, like cartwheels okay i'm gonna take five minutes here this happens to be one of the nicer rest areas here on i-10 All right, nice rest area, clean bathrooms, all good. Let's continue. 
next rest area is like 86 miles away and then there's Fort Stockton where we're gonna refuel probably. Drive into the west, into the sunset, drive into the west. Arizona, even California I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my kicks on 66 The mountains and the desert are my fix Driving to the west in my RV Is where I wanna be Yes, we're gonna do all those things But first, we gotta get there And judging by the landscape, we are getting closer new solar panels Van Horn 203 miles we still have a long way to go today but this is my kind of drive I am so excited to be back in this part of the country We're starting to see some mesas and buttes. Yay, my first soap tree yucca of the trip, the first of many. Gas prices have definitely gone up uh, compared to that 166.9 I paid yesterday. Just yesterday, today is here, 245.9. And of course, I got it at 240 with my uh, discount. Yeah, Western Texas is full of these uh, plants. By the way, the discount I was referring to is my five cents off with my Good Sam membership at Pilot and Flying J Travel Centers. a long desert, but I find it fascinating. We are now approaching Van Horn. Well, here we go, entering Mount. 
Mountain Time Zone. We've got about two more hours to go. We should arrive to the New Mexico border by sunset. There are a bunch of these abandoned ghost towns along the way. Here's a border patrol checkpoint. That means we are going to be really close to the border with Mexico. There will be another one, westbound, as we go further away from the border, but we'll probably see that one tomorrow in New Mexico. The best mileage I've gotten so far, towing, 15 miles per gallon. Check it out, 16 miles per gallon. I mean, we've been going downhill for a while, so that's probably why. By the way, that's Mexico right there to our left. Hmm, you see that? I don't know about you, but to me, that looks like the wall. You have three messages. The first one is a text message from 28,888. Do you want to hear it or skip it? Hear it. I think this was the moment when the hot spot in my Chevy started to crap out. And it hasn't been reliable ever since. Oh, thanks for nothing, Google. Well, the point is AT&T thinks I'm in Mexico and it's offering me like a, like a free international package or something. Because Mexico is right there. Those mountains right there, that's Mexico. Actually, after further research, I found out that that particular radio station is owned by a Mexican corporation, but its studios are in El Paso and they transmit from a nearby hill in Juarez. So perhaps the two cities are more intertwined than it looks. Do you see the structure that looks like a large X? It is called Monumento a la Mexicaneidad, a monument to the Mexican people. It stands on a large square in Ciudad Juarez in Mexico. It was Mexican President Benito Juarez, after whom the city is named, who originally put the X in Mexico. And that's just one of the many symbolisms of the iconic monument. I'll be honest, El Paso does stress me out a little bit, especially at this time of the day, particularly being a little tired from the long drive. On the same token, I find border cities fascinating. And although we're not going to stop here, to me it is pretty surreal to see another country from the interstate. I was born in an island country after all, so land borders intrigue me. How we, the human race, managed to divide the planet based on what language we spoke or what god we worshipped, who conquered who. Yeah, this is the part that kind of freaks me out, the proximity. By the way, nice sunset over Juarez, Mexico. It was a matter of time before I got stuck in traffic, right? But it is not too bad. Trust me, I've seen a lot worse. We're still a good 40 miles away from our destination today, but that's nothing compared to all we've driven over the past couple of days. But it's raining in the desert. Night falls. We are almost in New Mexico. And it is raining in the desert. That's beautiful, isn't it? Anthony, this is where I stayed the last time I was here. Welcome to New Mexico. Ooh, there's a brand new sign. I should have stopped. I almost missed it. 
I was expecting something bright and yellow. Well, it is raining anyways. There's the bright and yellow sign and our first desert sunset. I had forgotten how beautiful they are. Round and round we go, trying to find the perfect spot. Some of the RVs that were here last night have left, and there's a new, it's like a fancy schoolie. Here at the Las Cruces Walmart. In this Walmart, huge parking spaces. I mean, I love that I fit in two adjacent parking spots, and it is obviously RV friendly. Well, the alarm went off this morning on my tire pressure monitoring system. It is probably the colder temperature. Okay, let's see. This one is at, is at 45, so <clears throat> yeah, we need to bring it up to 50. Yeah, that's about right. It's time to go. Bye, Walmart. Oof, bumpy road. Why am I taking this scenic route, you might ask? Well, I've got a CD to mail to Canada. Here we are at the post office, and this one has a convenient drive through mailbox. Ontario, Canada. We go. Well, this the CD goes. I gotta come back to to this place. Beautiful mountains. I like how the sign for I-10 says East Las Cruces, West Arizona. It's like there are no more towns in New Mexico. On I-10, which is? Continue on I-10 West for 313 miles. This is partially true. I think there's not a whole lot coming up here on this road. Here we are, Border Patrol Checkpoint. I told you we were going to encounter another one of these here in New Mexico. They usually don't stop you. I think they're mostly looking for drugs. They take your picture, they let the dogs sniff you, and off you go on your merry way. We just crossed our first uh, border patrol uh, checkpoint, if you will. I don't know how many miles, but uh, it, whenever you get close to the Mexican border, uh, whenever you come back into within a certain distance of the border, uh, they have one of these stations. I'm sure I'm going to encounter another one uh, leaving Yuma. Ah, 
Okay, I'll buy it. Let's check out Aquila Flats. Last time I was around here, I skipped Aquila Flats. So let's check it out this time. Continue on this road for 3.8 miles. There's no one here and it has tourist trap written all over it, but who knows? It might be good. Should I or should I not? That's a dead end, so... You know what, there doesn't seem to be like RV friendly parking, so... I park back there. Now let's just check it out real quick. Ooh. The facade is reminiscent of an old western town, but that's all it is. They're not even trying to make it realistic. It is almost like a mural. Anyways, let's step inside. Well, yes, it is basically an oversized souvenir shop, but they also have other things like lamps, sculptures, and while I didn't partake, I hear the fudge is really good. Yes, the amount of sculptures and other art is overwhelming. Maybe I can get at least a t-shirt? Hmm, maybe not. Pretty cool place. Uh, they have a bunch of like, art and souvenirs and t-shirts. Didn't see anything that, that called like, my attention like, buy me, buy me, no, not really. They have restrooms and gas at 2.39. We'll continue. Drive into the west. Drive into the west. Into the sunset. Drive into the west. Drive into the west. Into the sunset. Yeah, the thing seems to be a thing. Driving through New Mexico, Arizona, even California. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my kids on 66. The mountains and the desert are my fix. Driving to the west in my RV is where I wanna be. Okay, the rest area in two miles. I think I'm gonna have brunch there since it is 10.22. Miami is 12.22 I'm hungry Driving to the west Into the sunset Driving to the west It is now time for another RV cooking show here inside Minitary. I'm sorry the angle is kind of weird but that's where I'm putting the camera today uh, I was going to make me one of those frozen meals but I have a lot of stuff that is going to spoil soon but so I might as well uh, start cooking some of that first and foremost uh, this bacon it was in the freezer it just thawed overnight let me make sure that the expiration date is still like kind of good it doesn't smell bad well if i don't make it to the rtr you know what happened and i'm surprised how long this propane has lasted this propane is from from alabama <laughs> i'm gonna make as much of this bacon as i can and the rest, sadly, I'm probably gonna have to throw it out. Maybe I'll... I mean, if it doesn't kill me today, maybe I'll use it tomorrow. Oh, fire alarm, very important, disable. This bacon will trigger it for sure. Hey, what's wrong with you? Ew. Yeah, the rain sensor might be wet. I 
Alright, vegetarians, close your eyes. Ooh, bacon. Check that out. Although it is, it is burning. Ooh. I'm gonna crack two eggs here. And scramble them. A little bit of peppers, pepper, you know, black pepper. Paprika. Yeah. I'm gonna use some of this uh, sofrito mix, which is uh, diced peppers and onions. And you see, no, you really can't. There, just the eggs. It looks like I, I can I can add the eggs already. Mmm, it's so good. And I'm gonna wrap it up in all one of those uh, these tortillas and make it like a taco kind of thing. Look at this. Check it out. We're gonna go like plunk and and that came out 90% the way I expected. Look at that. Oh yeah. So I turned it and it's like, like a Spanish omelet, almost. By the way, if you notice, it's kind of dark in here, even with the light sun, even with the windows open. And that, that, that's one thing that I want to address and tell Winnebago. Don't put such dark tints on your on your RVs, at least to give us a choice. Because those, those it's, it's never quite daylight bright inside here. Another gripe I have about these windows here. Wait, anyway, check it out. We're at the rest area. Someone pointed out that the T at the end of Bon Appetit is uh, silent, so. Right, I'll say Bon Appetit from now on. Check it out. Beautiful. Hmm. I, f I wish you could smell this. Just gonna do it like, you know, taco style, kind of. <laughs> I came all the way from Florida looking for dry weather, right? This is not okay. Well, there is something you don't see every day. The desert is flooded. And if it wasn't for the mountains in the back, you could almost say it looks like the Everglades. Pretty surreal. And the wildlife must be so confused. I wonder if they survive and how. There's Arizona, like you've never seen it before. Welcome to Arizona. Thank you.
riding in my RV Wherever I want to be Because I'm free in my RV We are in Tucson, only passing through though. In my RV, yeah. Tell you what, I could really use a break. And there's always a friendly Walmart parking lot for that. I need to get some groceries and supplies too, and I think I hit something. Okay, we're good. Well, took a pretty long break at the Walmart, freshened up, and now um, it is pretty much non-stop. I'm gonna arrive almost at sunset, which is kind of a bummer, but I had to buy some more, some more stuff. I freshened up, took a shower at the, in the RV. We're going to, uh, towards the Gila Bend or Gila Bend uh, KOA. Is that Picacho Peak I see? It sure is. There's the Pinal Air Park Aircraft Boneyard. Not nearly as large as the one on the other side of town, but pretty cool still. And this is the spot where we start seeing saguaro cacti all over the place. Of course, one of these days we'll make it to Picacho Peak, but as you know, today we are on a mission. Tomorrow, before noon, I want to be in Quartzsite, Arizona to attend the famous Robert Trump Rendezvous, or RTR. Really, really looking forward to that. Have I ever told you how much I love this part of the country? We are almost there. I'm riding, riding in my RV, wherever I Because I'm free in my RV Yeah, I'm riding Riding, riding I'm riding in my RV My RV Wherever I want to be Because I'm free in my RV Yeah Because I'm free in my RV, yeah, riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free. Yeah. Break it down. Riding, riding, oh, riding in my RV. My RV. Well, here I am. Very nice. This is the Gila Bend KOA. It was 40 bucks a night. And I just missed the sunset, but check it out. It's unmistakably an Arizona sunset. Do a quick reconnaissance here before it gets too dark. It's already dark. And the moon is growing. This is one of those uh, RV parks that is not completely dark. There are a few street lights here and there. This seems to be the bathhouse. Here's the, the heated pool. 
And I was tempted to go in, but it's getting rather chilly outside, but let's make sure. Oh yeah, it's really, really warm. It's very tempting, actually. You have all these cacti here. Let's check out the laundry. I'm gonna do laundry in a few minutes. There's no one in here. Well, look at the size of that, that's huge. And they take quarters as they should. Well, so far this Gila Bend here, I like it. Everything's very clean, it's very quiet. Even for this time of the year. And uh, check out that beautiful, the, 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 the beautiful skies of the, of the desert. They're amazing. And it was priced right, it wasn't too expensive to stay here, so I can recharge and then tomorrow we'll go to Quartzite. On the next video, Ili joins me for the next part of the trip and we're going to join the thousands of nomads and snowbirds that make Quartzite, Arizona home for the winter. Before we go, I would like to invite you to our rally, which is going to take place in San Antonio, Texas, June 20th through the 23rd, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Check it out, rvcaravanwithus.com is where you go and then sign up, and uh, I'm partnering with them because I am pretty good at making videos, but you don't want me to be your party planner, so they're going to take care of all the planning and all that. I'm, I'm just going to have fun with you guys, and we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have like a like a campfire, we're going to tour the city, we're going to have meals, and we're going to a brewery, and you're going to get a t-shirt just like this one. So check it out, rvcaravanwithus.com, and, uh, and I hope to see you there. San Antonio, Texas, June 20th through the 23rd.